we want to see how to use conditional formatting to create this effect, or like a chessboard, this effect. Now, conditional formatting home, conditional formatting dropdown, there's no built-in way to do a checkerboard. But with an Excel formula, if we can create a pattern like this, zeros and ones, then we can use that formula to apply black to the cells that have a 1. Now we're going to need a number that increments 1, 2, 3, 4 as we copy down, and that increments 1, 2, 3 as we copy across the columns. For the number incrementer that's going to go across the rows, we use the rows function. I'm sitting in cell C dollar sign 3 colon C3. That's an expandable range where the row reference 3 is locked, but not in the second one. So as we Control Enter, copy this down, it expands as we copy down. Rows counts and gives us the numbers 1 to 13. Now you could just use row for this, and row just counts whatever row it's in. The difference is the formula we're going to build with rows will always format this cell a particular way, meaning either black fill or no black fill. This one, however, will change if you change the structure of the sheet by inserting. If you don't mind the black and white flickering back and forth if you make structural changes, then it's easier to use that. Control Z, I'm going to use this one. Now, we're going to need something similar, but not rows. We're going to use columns. And I'm going to situate this in C, dollar sign C2, colon C2. Notice the column reference is locked for the first reference, but not the second. That will cause it to expand when it goes across the columns. You can see it's expanded, and here we get the number 10. Now we're going to use this, Control C, F2, simply add columns to rows, Control Enter, copy it down and to the side. Now notice it looks like the pattern where we want the black to occur is always an odd number. So if I take all these numbers and divide by 2 and take the remainder, all the cells with odd numbers will have the remainder 1, and the even cells will get remainder 0. And the function you use in Excel to get the remainder after division is the mod function. That whole thing is the number or the numerator for the division, comma. The divisor or the denominator will be 2. Control Enter. And that's our formula we're going to eventually copy up into the conditional formatting dialog box. I'm going to copy the formula from the upper left corner of this highlighted range. And I'm going to copy this in Edit Mode, Control C. And now on a different sheet, I'm going to highlight however many cells I want. But I'm going to make sure that C3 is the top left corner, the active cell. Conditional formatting, new rule. Use formula to determine which cells to format. Format values where this formula is true, Control V, Format. I'm going to choose black. You can choose whatever formatting you want to apply as a checkerboard or a chessboard. Click OK. Click OK. And that is amazing. Now I'm going to do it on a new sheet. And I've re-anchored all the cell references pointing to cell A1. So I'm going to copy that and then highlight as many cells as I want. Alt-H-L-N is the keyboard. Page down, Tab, Control V. And I'm going to add some black fill. Click OK, click OK. Now, conditional formatting can be copied. So I can just click and drag. And I could have a little fun here. I'm highlighting different columns, changing the width, doing the same thing for rows. And bam, conditional formatting fun, either for a wild one like this or for a nice simple chessboard or checkerboard.